<laughs> this was totally worth it. Guys, welcome back to Ed Gasket. If you're here because your ears are ringing, then you found the right video. Guys, having a workshop air compressor is a super valuable tool and you'll be thankful that you have it. Wow, what a valuable tool. I'm thankful that I have it. So what's the catch? Well, the catch is if it kicks on and you're not ready for it. Almost 90 decibels. So the solution and the challenge in this case is going to be building an enclosure for this air compressor that keeps sound levels low while retaining high airflow across the unit. Because the major criticism of a project like this is that you'll suffocate the unit and cause it to overheat, which ultimately leads to a decreased longevity of both the air compressor pump and the motor. Well guys, like most of our projects, it all starts with a trip to the hardware store to pick up our supplies. Guys, the first step in soundproofing the air compressor will be building the frame for the structure. So we'll take some 2x4s that we just purchased and get to work. All right guys, what you're seeing so far is just a two by four framing around the air compressor. Oh nice, framing a wall without any studs. It's reasonable. Now I've begun to wrap the whole thing in OSB plywood. This will act as our first layer of sound deadening material so that we can then put 5 8 drywall on top of this. That'll give us a super dense, thick barrier between us and the inside where the compressor is. Now I'm gonna make this one wall a door on hinges so that we can gain access into the compressor area if we ever need to drain the bottom of the tank adjust the PSI on the regulator, or just turn the tank on and off with the electrical switch. So let's finish wrapping this in OSB, put some drywall on, and convert that wall to a door. Guys although, <clears throat> sick. Guys, although the bulky construction is finished with this enclosure, maybe you just should have bought a quieter air compressor. Honestly, now you're just taking up space in the garage that you can't afford to lose. Some of the most important soundproofing steps have yet to be completed, and the first of those soundproofing steps are filling in the large gaps with expanding foam and all the small gaps with silicone caulk.
Guys, it should only take a minute to fill all the cracks and voids with expanding foam and silicone caulk. Now I'd wait till all that dries before you cut off all the excess. Guys, the next step is arguably the most important step in the whole enclosure process, insulation. Now we chose this insulation by Rockwool because there's a sleeping baby right on the front. And I have to assume on the other side of that sleeping baby is an air compressor. Dude, of all places to cut the bag, you cut across the baby's face? It's freaking weird. It's all good, man. I get it. It's a tight space. It's hard to film in there. Just show us a before and after. No worries. Perfect. All right, guys, we successfully framed, sheathed, sheet rocked, foam filled, silicone sealed, and insulated our air compressor closet. So the last thing to do is to get out the decibel meter, turn this air compressor on, and see if this thing was worth our money and our effort. All right guys, the decibel meter is on. If I don't talk, you can see in the room, 28 decibels. I'm gonna put on my hearing protection just in case our project was futile. <laughs> 65, it was 90 when we started. And you had to have hearing protection on when you were in here. This was totally worth it. Even with the door open. 73 with the door open. All right, so I didn't tell you guys this, but I ran this test before I did the insulation and it was down to like 81. So we started, it was like near 90, right? And with just the box and no insulation, it went down to like 82 which was still too loud to be in here without hearing protection. So the insulation's everything. The box did almost nothing. And then just adding the insulation dropped it to 66, and the doors open and it was in the 70s. Wow, that is freaking amazing. That is freaking amazing. Now guys, if you're contemplating a project like this in your workshop, let this video act as your official nod of approval. We shaved nearly 30 decibels of noise leaking into the shop from the air compressor, which is completely insane. Now while I finish this compressor closet up with some spackle, some paint, and a roof vent to keep the temperatures down inside, I'll link everything in the description below. Now if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to our channel so you can catch us for all our future videos. Now if you need us between now and then, we'll be in the garage. Or at work. <laughs>